and uh, Pullman. I've never seen anyone quite so active out there. He's desperate to clear 207 because it would be a personal best if he does. 2.04, he said the celebrations went on for about uh, four or five minutes out there and until he settled down to think about the next task. He had one failure at this height, 2.07, and now makes his second attempt. It's worth 868 points to him. But uh, the more I see this decathlon go forward, and the more I see Torsten Voss of the German Democratic Republic, knowing that he's a good high hurdler, uh, knowing that he can move, well, I'm considering that he's the big danger. Well, we're very nearly running out of time here on BBC uh, One. We'll be picking it all up on BBC Two again in just a few minutes' time when we'll see the third 1,500 uh, metres heat for women. Kirsty Wade goes in that one. But we've had a splendid afternoon, three British medals, all won by 20-year-olds, two of them in the 110 metres hurdles, this is how it happened. Oh, Ridgen got away well, and he's going well, but so is Foster and McCoy leading at the moment. And Kazanov on the inside, and here comes Ridgen, but Foster, Foster going through, Foster and Kazanov on the far side. Foster and Jackson, Ridgen and Jackson, we've got the silver and the bronze. Ridgen came through, so did Jackson, and we've got silver and bronze, and look at that. Well, Greg Foster was the favourite on paper. The time, 13.21, he's done it again. But what about that from the two young Britons? Ridgin was the better of the two Britons. The Soviet Kasana faded at the end and let Ridgin and Jackson through. But Foster got it right this time and for once in a major championship this season, he's finished. Well, John Ridgin doesn't want to leave. Actually, he's come back to have a look at the replays, just uh, desperately anxious to know whether he did get the silver or whether Colin Jackson caught him. Colin Jackson wasn't away too well, actually, but in the latter stages was closing very quickly. And perhaps as you watch this with Stuart Story, it's interesting to see what happened to McCoy, who went right out of the picture, having led. Well, the one thing you can see from that picture is what a bad start Greg Foster got. And that's underlined by uh, the advantage that McCoy has. And in fact, you're right, David, Jackson was badly away too. He's got two or three metres down on uh, McCoy at this stage. Ridgin's going the better of the two Britons, and Kasanov of the Soviet Union is ahead of Jackson at the moment. And McCoy hit that, and McCoy's in desperate trouble there, and that's where he loses it. Kasanov still ahead of uh, Jackson, but Ridgin on this side is going well. Now, Jackson begins to overtake the Soviet athlete on the far side. Ridgin is there for the silver by about a metre and a half, and Jackson gets, well, he, I think he gets the bronze. He's leaning there, and once again, uh, Ron, we may have a case of dipping under that beam. Oh, he got the bronze all right. Now, in the 200 metres, John Regis went even closer to gold. No problems with the start. The silver's gone off well. John Regis has closed down on Floyd Hurd. John Regis is running a superb bend. John Regis is coming off the bend and creel off in the red shell. Regis and De Silva. Regis is there and left Floyd Hurd. Hurd is coming back. John Regis hanging on. It's going to be very close and John Regis is going to get there. John Regis gets there. That is remarkable. And the Frenchman, Kenneve, I'm going very excited, but Kenneve came through so fast. I'll leave a question mark. It's 20.17, so the championship best. If it's John Regis, it could be a new British record. He's looking around, and they closed down on him. It was a magnificent run. Gold or silver, it was a magnificent run. But Kenneve came onto him in the last two metres, and I focused on John Regis. And we're going to wait because they don't know. John Regis' his hand is up. It wasn't Calvin Smith's race, that's for sure. Well, it was in actual fact. It turned out to be Calvin's, and John had to put up with bronze medal, but great performance and a splendid afternoon for all of us. Hey, fantastic. Three medals, three 20-year-olds. What a future for our youngsters. Really fantastic, and uh, they couldn't have done better than that, and John Reed is so close to a gold. Right, back on BBC Two in a second or two. Let's summarise the day so far, though, for you.
and East Germany's Thomas Schönlieber licks the favourites in the 400 metres. Sabine Bush wins the women's 400 metres hurdles for the East Germans. Greg Foster retains his 110 metre hurdle title for the USA. Silky Gladish makes it a hat trick of goal for the East Germans and a personal double. Calvin Smith retains his 200 metres title, but only just. And absolutely splendid performances by three British 20 year olds John Ridgen, Colin Jackson, and John Regis. We'll be right back on BBC Two with Kirsty Wade, Steeplechase Heats, and Daly completes his day.